Jimmy, appreciate the time. Appreciate you pouring into the students today. One question that really inspired me in our first conversation was around how you've been able to handle some defeat, handle some rejection, and that word no. It's a topic in a conversation that we often hear a lot, but I'd love your thoughts on just being a young hustler, man out to find his vision, go to achieve his dream. Why have you not let the word no derail you? No, from Jed, where that's a, that is a great question to kick us off right there. Hey. Yes. That's a tough one to start, but this is this is what we, this is what I want to know. You know but how do you? I would keep say going? there's there's two things that it comes back to. The first one is it's not necessarily, you know, being scared of the word no, but it's more knowing how to pivot. You know, knowing that nothing is always going to go as planned. It never does in anything that we do. Nothing goes as planned, but being able to pivot left to right and figuring out, hey, this might not work, but this will, oh, this got me here. Well, where will that take me? And you got to be willing to try things. So I don't think the word no or being told no is the worst thing in the world. I just consider it another pivot point, in my opinion. I And I think that word pivot is one that more and more entrepreneurs need to hear, understand. It's not a no, it's a not this, and what can I do next? What is the other option? How do I make it uh, or create the yes? Pivot, pivot, pivot is such a fascinating term that as like I got started in my journey, I kept hearing that word and not really understanding what it meant. And pivot doesn't mean you lost, doesn't mean you failed. Pivot just means you're finding a new way, a new direction. So I agree with you wholeheartedly as as you go. And so tell us a little bit of kind of what path you're on and why you have a dream. You know, this is this is something that you have been after for years. You are manifesting and creating. Tell us a yeah, little bit well, about what your dream you know, is. You remember how we talked about pivoting? My, my dreams pivoted a little bit, but it, it is in the, the same roots of it all. Um, it really comes down to two things for me, sports and investing. You know, as a kid, I love sports. I still love sports today. Diehard Charger fan, diehard Padre fan. And growing up, you know, I wasn't very athletic, I guess we could say. Yeah. So the first time I guess I got told no was when I realized, hey, maybe I'm not good to be good enough to be in the starting lineup. And I realized that when I was in the third or fourth grade playing T-ball or Little League. So, you know, that was the first time, I guess, I had to make my first pivot, but I still knew I wanted to be around sports some way, somehow. So my dream shifted from being, I want to be a pro football player. to I want to be a football GM. I want to, you know, I'll learn the business side of the sport and I want to, I want to go that avenue with it. 